at Hardneck Farms and Friday we had a pretty bad windstorm and it knocked a few trees down and broke one real good. A lot of them are leaning. This one we got put back up. I didn't check the orchard until yesterday and my son come to visit. He's in the Air Force. He got to come home. His birthday is on the 12th, and so we take him to Hoboken and to eat and uh, got to spend some time with him. My husband and I went to a farm auction yesterday and we got home and I, I didn't get anything videoed. And then my son was here and then a storm hit last night right after he left. And so I didn't get to do much. And it was a little late to try to video this, but yeah, look at that. I don't know if the tree will make it now. I'm just really upset. It's like I can't win for losing. It's just, look at all the trees that are leaning. I've worked really hard. This orchard was pretty. Now it's just kind of staggering along. But these are the ones I put in right after the fire. These all got planted uh, in 2014. A lot of these. This, the ones that are that size and that size. All these right here were planted. In 2014 and you can tell the difference because look how big that trunk is and look how big this trunk is and that one and the one over there and then this one these are some of the original trees that were put in at the beginning of the orchard and this uh, Gonna have to put a lot of tea post in, clean the suckers up, and cut that limb off and spray the trunk and say my prayers. But most of the time when that happens, the tree, you might as well just chop it down and start over. Ugh. And I strategically planted things to where they would cross pollinate with the other varieties oh it just makes me sick and see I've planted a few and still lost them that one the one over there one over there this is too much money that one's not looking too great that one we have to just Take to the burn pile. This one's doing pretty good. I just planted this last year. It's a New Orleans or Orleans antique apple. Oh, I'm just frustrated, guys. Hope y'all are having a better day. Hope the storms haven't hit y'all. And this winter, I will definitely be cleaning up this orchard, digging new spots for some new trees to plant possibly in the fall because it's just better to plant them in the fall. And then you don't have to, you can water and establish a good root system. But see, this tree isn't gonna make it. It's already looking rough. Look at that. I think I'll just have to take this one down this fall too. This one isn't looking good either. Once they get those little spots, the boars can creep in and I neglected my orchard for a couple years, so now I get to pay for it. Yep. So learn from me if if you have if they burn, if a, it breaks like that, just take the tree out. 
cut your losses, start over, and spray nematodes in the spring so that you don't have the pest issues. All right, y'all. Wendy at Hardneck Farms.